Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akiru and welcome back to this let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club. And we are continuing from the last time and um, Momo will be reading out the notes and I will be reading out um, our protagonist, New Kid. <laughs> yes. Oh, so. and uh, I'm Momo by the way, sorry. Yeah. Hello. She's with me again today. <laughs> Actually, it was just a continuation from the last uh, <laughs> recording, so this time around. So, but um, we have to make a poem. Um, so, um, we talked about a little before we started the episode, um, if I should choose everything here or we should take one-on-one, -on -one, so I don't have any clue out which one I'm going after. Because apparently this chooses also the girl you're going after in the game. Yep. So... Um, also, I could take a d12 die and just <laughs> roll that, but um, <laughs> it's funnier to to pick something. So we have to pick some of the wordings here. And we have uncanny, disown, graph, hearts, enemy, sensation, encouragement, in, 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 <laughs> incongruent. <laughs> that thing, uh, precious passion, and vacation. I don't think we have to make this. Uh... So long, but hey. you can just pick a word. So I will take uh, precious. Precious. Right. Precious. <laughs> so Momo can choose from lost dreams, sing, explore, portrait, pleasure, love, candy, nibble, and unrestrained. This is gonna take forever if you have to read all the words. Okay, I will not read all the words. <laughs> I'll take candy. <laughs> okay, what do I have? Great art, after image, philosophy. Bubbles. Heartbeat. Havens. Havens. Kiss. Um, I would take uh, determination. Then I'll take tragedy. Okay. Then we have uh, cute. Cute. Um, I'll take Doki Doki. <laughs> um, I will take a ribbon. Ribbon. It's uh, very many points for that Doki. <laughs> um, let's take daydream. Um, I will take amazing. Uh, amazing. Then I'll take extreme. Uh, then I will take um, fluffy. Fluffy. I'll take poof. I will take um, extraordinary. Then I take... Swords Knife! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Boop! Boop! I will take... Um... Oh, chocolate. Chocolate. I think we're going after the Tsuki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, they, they jumped uh, that, that half of the word assigned to it. I yep. didn't know. <laughs> I actually just realized <laughs> that right now. <laughs> yep, they do. Um, I will take um, rainbow. Then I take fireflies. Um, I will take vanilla. Vanilla. And then I will take. Hi again, new kid. <laughs> Get to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to. Uh, I was the last to come in. 
So everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, new kid. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for, uh, of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. My kid deserves any slack. Sayori... Uh, say, say, <laughs> Sayori... <laughs> Sayori told me you didn't even want to join the club... Uh, to join any clubs this year and last year too i don't know if you have uh, if you plan to come uh, to just come here and hang out or what but if you don't take us seriously then you won't see the end of it natsuki you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection at, in the club room Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Strictly defeated, Natsuki plumped back into her seat. Don't worry guys. New Kid always gives, uh, gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work. Uh, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayuri, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost uh, set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and New Kid can become good friends too! Um... S Sayori? Hmm? As usually Sayori seems overly to a weird situation, she just put me into. Oh! Oh! Yuri even bought you something, to, uh, bought you something today, you know? But wait! Sayori! Uh... Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Well, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means... It's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I make me it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make a big deal uh if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention if you, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, just discuss it if you want it. This is... How is this girl um, accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yui, thank you. I definitely read it. I... Enthusi enthusi <laughs> enthusiastically. That's what I'm trying to say. Enthusiastically <laughs> take the book. Here. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a, uh, a cherry conversation in the corner. Yui face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was reading for this chance, waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is 
remaining around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumber down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book you gave me. But I feel a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening to uh, in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going uh, gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our, it's our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature clubs sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm... That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with something fun, uh, with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come uh, come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after that, uh, and if th after they come, we can do thing, uh, do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So you is, uh, is taking this really seriously. It's weird to hear her deliver it uh, like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Well, what kind? Oh, uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ha <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ha, ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the back but <laughs> Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't what why you suggested it. Cupcake speaks to my creative tummy. Yeah. Cupcakes in this then. I'm hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason to admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind into things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wondering what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. It will probably pink all the way. Uh, I hope my eyes to find Sirius' face uh, filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. There's just... Does our school have a living club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You need to get used to it. Don't say things out so loud. I glance over my shoulders to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. <laughs> what about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still always sleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? <laughs> not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days the past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. 
at least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Looks so... It's writing all over you. It's written all over you. Yeah. So it lands around itself. How is it written all over me? You are clearly in a rust this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Huh? I run my fingers down her sides of Sayori's hair trying to strengthen it out. Man, you really need to brush for, uh, a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to rid off this stain with my finger. But nobody will ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie! And you don't keep your place uh, buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Huh? That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer fr her front button. Once you see how much better you look, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Huh? D d don't say that. You made me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even Hit you probably? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever bought it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway. You look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori place button up like that? But it's so stuffy! Ugh. It's not worth it at all! Sayori uh, hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better! Sayori puts her arms out and truly around. So if I keep the keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let me uh, let you do things like this, and you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyways. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all things. <laughs> Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Hey, yeah. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hey, hey, hey. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are of taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. 
man, it's impossible to chill with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we, we wrote now? Yay! New kid, I can't wait to read yours. Me neither. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> I fail to sound enthusiastic, but she is still uh, throwed away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Uh, yeah. My election ends. I can't believe. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much of inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sharyori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their points. Sayuris <laughs> is on a winkle seat. Uh, of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can't really, t uh, I can't, re I can already see Monica's uh, pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yui relentlessly, complete, <laughs> oh fuck, <laughs> relentlessly, complete as well, reaching into their backs. I do the same myself. Who would you show your poem first? So we go through all people, but I guess. Yeah. So they start taking from the top. I'm definitely most comfortable starting uh, out with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! This is so good, new kid! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori? You must be seriously a horror acting. I am not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Uh -huh. <sighs> I'm sure Yuri's opinion, uh, opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even not to kiss. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a new kid poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I, I can feel, uh, like I can feel your feelings in it. Sherry hugs the sheet against the chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just uh, reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing sta uh, standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll uh, break my promise. See? It's like I said before, new kid. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori seems to the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much she means, uh, knowing how much this means to her at all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have uh, you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't, Don't worry. 
Oh, sorry. Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> My turn to, <laughs> <go. laughs> to crush it for you. <laughs> we'll see about that. So we actually get to read the poems. <laughs> Dear... Dear I am reading her poem. <laughs> oh, you can read it loud as you want to, because I can't actually read that after the text. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look, uh, I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't sleep, uh, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> that was, um... <laughs> Sayori. This is, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J just a little bit. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounded just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially with the last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip, skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Onward to Natsuki. What I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's, it just didn't evoke any emotions. So, basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I pass. <sighs> well, anyways, I guess. I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But, is, but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like this, uh, like in this poem. Seeing everyone uh, around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme in the end, but then made it all flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feelings in the last line. So you did. 
I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I that what it means to be a pro. I'm really glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess. Yes not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I didn't really care how old anyone uh, is, but it's actually is feeling proud to, uh, when they didn't want to take that away from her. Uh. And Yuri. Yuri um. stares at the program. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. It's just. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. Loading. <laughs> this is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after. Uh, I guess. I guess that it might be after reading it uh, through it. Oh, so it's that bad. Uh, no. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. I might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, it's I really don't notice. What were you saying? Right, um it's just that there's a, there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style that's separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. In the end, uh, the end result is that both the style and expressiveness are, uh, are weakened. Once you find her train of thought, it's as if her uh, demeanor really changed. Her stamming is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even simple poems. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is just apologizing to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles uh, dreamily. As if it's a rare opportunity for her. With itself, is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literary club? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate, uh, illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Bathing, uh, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. 
I flicker back. I'm sorry, I have such a terrible handwriting. No shit, I couldn't read it. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about... Uh, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah... Uh, well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yeah? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really uh, descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, new kid. Really? Oh, so it's sort of missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that... Uh, that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's... A lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that, at least. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. And uh, then we take Yuri. <laughs> God dang it. Monica. <laughs> hey, uh, hi new kid. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, get to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you, have ever, uh, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's it's kind <laughs> of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha! Don't worry, new kid. Well, we're all a bit embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Hmm. Mm hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayuri and I are actually really different. Hmm... Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. That way... Uh, that the way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that the kind uh, that that's the kind of vibe I get from uh, when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not really into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind of a gentle feel to it. 
I can tell that she likes exploring uh, with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're not trying different things a lot. Uh, it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of style. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. <laughs> you sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, that, uh, that way you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. Um, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. I want paper with a scroll about all two. So what do you think? Mm, it's very f uh, freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really that uh, the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, feedback. Uh -huh. That's okay. Yeah, that's that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really, uh, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind uh, this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of ep epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nerv uh, nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Something, uh, sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to, uh, to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll just get a, a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go on with the flow. That's my advice for, for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I'll get stats, everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my modernary writing abilities. Mediocre. <laughs> I said that, almost. <laughs> Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is the literature club, after all. I, sh I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. 
They giggle and exchange sheets of paper, sharing their pers uh, respective poems. As you read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows uh, furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yui smiles like, uh, sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Natsuki uh, dismissively returns the poem to the desk, to the desk <laughs> with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Hey? Huh? You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really doesn't come out like uh, come out nice at all. Um Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was look <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And New Kid liked it too. So I base uh, so based on that I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to uh, expect it to change anytime soon. Unless of course I come across something particu particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. And New Kid liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? Huh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... You stand up as well. Maybe you're just jealous of new kids. Uh, that new kid appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make ev everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as new kids started showing up. Natsuki! <laughs> um, Natsuki, that's a little... <laughs> this doesn't involve you. <laughs> I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls turn toward me. As if they uh, just noticed I was standing there. New kid! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get her uh, get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would, uh, wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The, me the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, new kid. But wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings of the most, uh, and the meaning, <laughs> and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary, uh, unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, new kid? Uh. Well... Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But... Ever more, ever more I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's a 
going to be? Uh, <laughs> um, Scheiße. <laughs> I have to take a choice. What do you pick? I'm just a new kid. I'm up here. Um. I will go with Natsuki. Natsuki. Does. Um. Yuri, you're really talented. Yeah, well. But Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to ba uh, back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with new words, uh, with new words, can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader imagining take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? Ha ha ha! Shows how much you know! That's not. Natsuki? I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me! Natsuki's voice whining, whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can uh, can definitely be hard. It looks like we are learning that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty hated. Ill heated. I dance over my shoulder. Shariui is nodding vigorously. <laughs> yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah. Uh. Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing? She finally murders that uh, barely audible. Yuri? You look at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean anything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, new kid. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a brief, a breath. I. The thing about. Uh, Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she uh, boasted. Sayura and Monica look away. <laughs> anyway, the thing about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with everyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori? Ah, mm. uh, go make some tea. Hey, I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat you on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone, everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Nukit. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lacing around we've got a little too used to. Ah, uh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere? No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we get home. So we'll relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we'll do literature related things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club's for. I disagree, Monica. 
Heh, <laughs> vote one. That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> in the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. New kid, how about you? Yeah, i say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any love, that means I can at least do a better job in pressing those I want to impress. And not to myself with newfound determination. New kid! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sherry beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri? About what happened earlier. Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them, I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can't see why they make good friends with you. Phew! You know, new kid, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is make uh, is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. Yes. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayuri still hasn't uh, caught into the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Does it really need to stop there? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat her ear on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to view Sayori as an intentional monologue something times. Monologue sometimes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay! Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, so... Well, let's just pretend that this part wasn't an hour long. <laughs> That's gonna be really hard because it was almost an hour long. But again, there was a lot of um, uh, poem reading and fighting and stuff like that. Yep. So... But it's a nice place to take it one day at a time. The game did not, not break it up, so... Because that would be weird. <laughs> weird to find a place to stop <laughs> in the middle of a day. So, yes. so we'll probably do that for the next episode that's come. I don't know if they've changed in the pace of it or anything. So, but uh, we take one day at a time, I think. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, that also means that this episode ends here. And uh, with that, I hope you enjoyed it. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos, and I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. <laughs>